Hello, my name is Adam Linder, and I'm a Big Fix technical advisor based out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. In this video, we'll be talking about the Big Fix client log. Before we get started, feel free to scan the QR code in the bottom left of the screen, which will bring you to my LinkedIn profile. If you have any questions after the video, I'll be happy to follow up with you there or via email. The Big Fix client log contains a lot of useful information, but it can be a little hard to parse without some context. It's an invaluable resource for troubleshooting issues, both around endpoint communication and actions you take that may not be completing successfully. There are some key things to look for to help you troubleshoot, which we'll get into during the demo. In addition to troubleshooting, taking a look at the log will give you a good sense of your endpoint's overall status and answer questions like, what relay is it connected to? When's the last time it sent a report? Has it started running the action that I pushed? The Big Fix log is located in the same place in the overall Big Fix folder structure on every client, but the Big Fix folder is in different locations per OS. You'll find it under Program Files x86 on Windows, Library Application Support on Mac OS, and under VAR Opt on Unix Linux systems. So here's what we'll take a look at in the demo. I'll demonstrate what it looks like when the client starts up and selects its relay, evaluates new content, downloads a payload and runs an installation, and as a bonus, what it looks like when it processes on-demand queries sent via the web UI or Fixlet debugger tool. Let's take a look. To kick things off, let's open the log. In my environment, I put together a self-service application action that will open the log in CM trace. The self-service application is part of our lifecycle module. My colleague Dan Paquette has a great video about that available on this channel. Now that we've got the log open, I'm gonna restart the BEZ client service so we can see what it looks like when the client starts up. I'm also going to save a fix that I've been working on to install 7-zip so we can see what it looks like when new content arrives and the client learns that it's relevant. So here we see the client starting up, it initializes its sites and it begins the process of relay selection. This is the first thing that I look for on a client that isn't reporting into the server. A client must register with a relay before it can start doing anything else. If it can't reach a relay, you'll see errors here to this effect. But we registered successfully, so let's move on. In general, it's a good sign to see the log moving. It may not be constantly updating, but a healthy client will be sending reports back to the server on a regular interval. So you should see things like report posted successfully fairly regularly. As you can see here, we've learned from our relay that there's new content in the action site and that new content is 7-zip and we're relevant for it. So let's push it. Here's our 7-zip fixlet. I'm gonna select my computer, take action, and head back over to the log. Now, as you may know, Big Fix clients reach out to their relay in order to download action payloads. But if the relay doesn't have it cached, like you can see right here where it says downloads available false, it has to reach out to the root server first. When the action began, we saw we didn't have the download, but just a few moments later, we received a UDP ping that downloads were available, that the relay had cached the download, and the action began. So here you can walk through line by line the action script of the fixlet. So we prefetch the payload, we extract it, and we start the installation command. It also gives us the output of each command. In this case, we got an exit code zero, which means that our installation probably worked. But if it hadn't, you would be able to get better information here about the exit codes of the individual commands, which is really helpful in troubleshooting. The last thing I'll demonstrate is what it looks like when the client receives a remote relevance query. I'm gonna head over to the web UI and use the same relevance that I used from the 7-zip installation fixlet to see whether it's installed. So I'm gonna go over to select my computer, say okay, execute the query, and the log now reflects that it started to process a query, it finished processing the query, and posted it. And we go back over here, and we see that indeed 7-zip is installed via relevance, and it's right here in our start menu. That's our video on the Big Fix client log. This slide has links to additional resources like support.bigfix.com and forum.bigfix.com. 
If you'd like to connect with me on LinkedIn, you can scan the QR code. And if you have any follow-up questions, feel free to reach out to me there or via the email address on this slide. Thanks very much for watching.